In this episode of Camden's Takes, we're going to be doing another astronomy video, but we're going to be going over a region in the solar system, which is between Mars and Jupiter, which is called the Asteroid Belt. So asteroids are just pieces of rock that orbit around our sun, essentially, that are made up of gold, iron, nickel, um, and other metals and rocks. But let me tell you something about each asteroid. So as many of us know, asteroids can range in size from really large to really small. But if we added up each asteroid mass and combined them all together, the entire mass of every asteroid and asteroid moon in the asteroid belt combined is less than the mass of our moon, but it has a larger diameter than the moon. Out of all the asteroids we know so far, there are hundreds of thousands of them in our solar system alone. Most of them are in the asteroid belt, but others are between Uranus and Saturn, which are centaurs, and the Trojans follow Jupiter around the sun, and there are Kuiper belt objects that are in the Kuiper belt beyond Neptune, and there's the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter, and Apollo objects cross Earth's orbit. So now that you know what an asteroid is, um, let's go over them. Let's start with the four largest known asteroids. So the first asteroid in this video is going to be Ceres. Ceres is the first asteroid to be discovered and it's the largest one in the solar system. Ceres is classified as a C-type asteroid, which is a carbonous asteroid. But now many people know Ceres classified as a dwarf planet, too. Ceres is the largest object in the asteroid belt, and it has a thin atmosphere that is made from water vapor from an internal ocean on its surface. Next asteroid is Vesta. Vesta is the second largest object in the asteroid belt and the second largest asteroid after Ceres. It has a unique feature that isn't like other asteroids. Much like Earth, it can separate into the same layers, like crust, mantle, and core. We know this because it has a huge impact crater so deep left over from active lava flows that has its inner mantle exposed. Because of this, and because it's nearly rounded on its edges, it's also known as a dwarf planet candidate. Next asteroid is Pallas. Pallas is actually the second asteroid discovered after Ceres. Pallas has an eccentric inclined orbit that is different from the rest of the asteroid belt. Next asteroid is Hygieia. Hygieia is the fourth largest asteroid in the asteroid belt. But in 2018, scientists discovered that Hygieia is round, so it's not just an asteroid anymore. It's also a dwarf planet candidate. It might soon be the smallest dwarf planet in our solar system. It's 434 kilometers wide. It's even smaller than Ceres. The next asteroid is Ida. Ida is not just special because it was the second asteroid to have a spacecraft visit it. It's because it has one moon, which is named Dactyl and is only a mile in diameter. And there are hundreds of other asteroids that have moons or are binary. The next asteroid is Bennu. Bennu is the first asteroid that actually isn't in the asteroid belt. It's located between Earth and Mars, and it classifies as a near-Earth asteroid. And NASA discovered something in 2018 that Bennu shoots out dust, which create a gaze surrounding it. The next asteroid is is 2024 PT5. 2024 PT5 is a near-Earth asteroid that is the size of a large school bus. It was Earth's second temporary mini-moon. It visited in 2024 for at least three months, but it will be back in like hundreds of years. Next is Ichikawa. Ichikawa is another near-Earth asteroid that might collide with Earth someday. But that won't happen for at least a million years. It's the first asteroid that we had samples taken from it. Scientists are now studying them right now on Earth. Next asteroid is Picraclus and Menetius. Picraclus and Menetius. They're two asteroids that are binary, which are not from the asteroid belt, but they're Trojan asteroids. 
So due to Jupiter's strong gravity, they share the same orbit with Jupiter around the sun. Jupiter's gravity is so strong, it's like an asteroid vacuum. Next is Kerakleo. Kerakleo is not from the near-Earth asteroid group, uh, Trojans, or Asteroid Belt. It's the largest centaur asteroid between Saturn and Uranus. And this is actually the first asteroid to be discovered with rings. It actually has two around it. It's a spheroid, so it's also known as a dwarf planet candidate. Next is Geographos. Geographos is a potentially hazardous near-Earth asteroid, and it was the first discovered that crossed Earth's orbit. Discovered in 1951 at the Palomar Observatory. Next is Iris. Asteroid Iris is a large asteroid in the asteroid belt and is the fourth brightest object in the asteroid belt. And in February 2024, we detected water molecules on this asteroid. This is the first time we found water molecules on an asteroid. And finally is Apophis. Near-Earth asteroid Apophis is going to pass by Earth in 2029. And hopefully it won't hit us. Camden takes the signing off. Make sure to like and subscribe.